Hey Panning Family, thanks for joining me today. I am Christine. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, please ignore the guy chopping down the tree outside. Of course it had to happen right when I was filming, but we're just going to do it because I have time right now. I did skip last month, so the last time I did an update was in June, and I didn't intentionally skip last month. It's just that the month got away from me. I was on vacation and then work got crazy and I just did not have time to film. But the good news is, is I have a lot more noticeable progress on my Naked palette because I've been using it for about two months since the last update. And I will include a video, a little snapshot of what that looked like two months ago in June. Oh my gosh, that guy is... Urgh. Okay, anyway, he doesn't know I'm filming, but anyway. So my August update, here we are. Lots of more noticeable dips. I did a heck of a number on Naked. You can see that that pan has expanded quite a bit. And also in Virgin down here. So I will, there we go. So I will flip you guys around so you can see the dips up close and personal. So I had mentioned earlier that I went on vacation. That was at the end of June, early July. I was gone for a week. And so I thought it would be a good idea to just take this palette with me and not take any bronzer or any highlighter. I figured I could use Virgin as a highlighter and I could use Buck as my bronzer. And so that's what I did the entire week. And then when I came back home, I thought, well, you know, let's just get a little more progress in these shadows. So I continued to use both of those as such for maybe an additional two or three weeks. But you can hardly tell that there's any progress in Buck at all. I mean, there's hardly a dip in there. I mean, there's a little dip where I put my eyeshadow brush. But as far as, you know, when I put a bronzer brush or just, it was actually just a power it was actually just a powder brush um, that I would stick in there and bronze my face. This thing is so, so tightly packed. I mean, I was, I used, I used this for almost a month, I want to say, three weeks or so. I guess it doesn't really matter as a bronzer, but still you can't really tell too, too much progress on that shade. And as I had mentioned in the last update that I wanted to focus on these three shades for this update or for the next you know for the following couple months whatever and I almost have ban I almost have ban on Dark Horse I mean I'm still probably a couple of weeks away but I really have been plugging away at that and then I have been working on Gunmetal a little bit too but that progress isn't as noticeable and I really wish that there was something more that I could say about this palette, but I gotta be honest, the guy outside is driving me bananas and I can't concentrate on what I want to say. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just, we're just gonna take a break. We're just gonna take a break. We're just gonna take a break and let the guy do what he's gonna do and then we'll come back, okay? And we're back. So I have decided that even though the tree guy is still trimming the tree, I am not going to let him defeat me. I'm going to continue to film because now is the time to film. All right, so headed back to the naked palette. Um, I have discovered or decided or realized that um, I'm probably not going to be able to hit pan on creep by the end of the year. The other darker shades are just taking up so much more time than I had anticipated just to hit pan on it. So I am just going to continue to work on both Dark Horse and Gunmetal. And I'm just going to, I mean, I'll use creep as the opportunities arise. I really, really don't use black eyeshadow that much, and I even tried using it as a liner to line my eyeliner, um, or to set my eyeliner, rather, and it 
it just didn't work. I think I got a lot of fallout on my face and throughout the day I just got these raccoon eyes and it wasn't cute and if I'm going to be wearing that out it's just going to be too high maintenance. So I mean maybe I'll use it to deepen up an outer corner maybe in the fall and winter as we get into those months. I don't know if I have any specific goals for the coming months other than just hitting pan on these two shades because it has already taken me so long to come this far. I started this project in December, if you don't know, and I am not able to wear makeup every day for my job. But for the past couple of months, I actually have been able to wear makeup on a more regular basis, and I think that's why there's a lot more progress to be seen in this update. So I'm excited to see where I end up by the year mark, which is now almost three months away, which is really hard to believe that I've been working on this palette for almost three quarters of a year or three quarters of a year. And wake up call, I don't use makeup very quickly. So it has really made me think a lot about my makeup spending habits and, um, you know, again, just how quickly or how slowly I use up makeup. So I will include my photo progress at the end of the video if you want to stick around for that. Otherwise, I will just see you in the next video. I hope you are all having a great day and enjoy the rest of your summer. I'll talk to you later. Bye.